Um, in this tutorial today we're going to build a basic drop and drag activity using ActionScript 2. This is the sort of activity that would be used in a nice interactive multimedia product to provide people with the opportunity to uh, answer questions. Let's, let's have a look at an, at an example. Here we have a very simple idea then. The Earth takes so many days to orbit the Sun. The Earth takes so many hours to spin on its axis. A little animation going on over here and again the various activities that you've seen in other videos. Now what we have if you can see is that the answers are movie clips and that these are draggable and when I pick it up and drag it, it goes back to where it was originally. So it wants me to place this somewhere on the stage. Now, the Earth takes, well, in this typical example, 365 days. Now, when I, when I drop it in position, notice it turns red and that I can no longer mess around with it. I've sort of turned off its draggable capabilities. This this answer here, 28, I've partly built. Um, it drops, it drags, but there's no issue in terms of it working. The others haven't been developed yet and that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. When I construct uh, a simple drop and drag game like this, I tend to use three key layers. In the bottom layer, I have the text. This is the question that you want somebody to respond to. And this, on this occasion, is placed in uh, frame 10, where activity 2 is located. I then have got the targets. Now, here are my two targets. Now, these are just two uh, movie clips, and they are... There we are, movie clip, and this, this movie clip is being called Target 1, and this movie clip is being called Target 2. And I think keeping that, as, a, as we've done before, keeping that structure so you know where your various objects are on the stage. And this is just a, a, bl a, a box that will, a black box that will go into the background in, and won't be seen. This movie clip here is the animation that's going around. And then the draggers, here are all the draggers. Um, the answers and the right answers and the wrong answers and each of these is again um, a movie clip this is called answer one this is called answer answer three this one's not got nothing because as I say I, I haven't developed those particular parts of the uh, project yet This is the code that will make a movie clip drop and drag. You're looking at this obviously in a Word document so that you can read the code nice and clearly. Where these uh, forward slashes have been used, this is to provide just background on what's happening with the code and how it operates. It's to provide understanding. It's not actual the actual action script programming. So what we have then is as before, on press. Previously we've always used on release, but this is on press, so as we hold down the mouse left hand button on the movie clip, on press, what do we want it to do? Here's the action brackets. Start dragging the object. This, this thing, this, whatever we have under the mouse, this is what we want to drag. And where do we drag it? We drag it from the middle. True. This is this particular property will make you drag it from the middle. Equally, on release, it, you know, it's listening for this. On release, stop dragging. OK, let's make the movie clip that is called Answer 2 draggable. The movie clip is selected, as you can see, instance of Answer 2, but it doesn't have a name. It doesn't have an instance name. So I'm going to call it Answer 2. And... With that selected, I'm going to go to the Actions panel. Now, just 
for some reason we're in action script 3. Sorry about that. I've now selected action script 2 and we need the global function. So we need the uh, movie clip uh, control and here we go then. So as I said before we want on but this time we want press. Get inside of the action brackets on press and we want to start to drag the object and as I said we want to drag this object from the middle this comma true okay so if we control test movie at this stage what will happen is that 24 is is draggable but it won't let go is there's no stop drag no matter what I do um, it's going to follow my cursor around the screen. Okay, so let's make it so that it will stop. Um, movie clip control again, on. This time release. And quite simply, we want to stop the damn thing dragging. Alright, so now we've got a nice action loop there and a nice action loop there. And let's give that a go. Control, test movie go to activity 2 and 24 will drop and drag excellent that's what we wanted to happen okay then to summarize what you need to do is to convert your text or object shape whatever it is to a movie clip give the movie clip an instance name in the properties panel something like answer 1 select the movie clip Press F9 to open the Actions Editor. Enter the code that we looked at to give you a basic drop and drag effect. Save and test your SWF. OK, in the next tutorial we'll look at making something happen if we get the correct or incorrect answer. <laughs>